Hi, I'm Nick Slavic, and this is Painters Tradecraft. In this segment, we're prepping this house for paint. Every one of our projects starts with a standard operating procedure, or an SOP. It's a repeatable series of steps that you do in order to get consistently high quality results on every project. But it's not just enough to have an SOP, you also need to train your people on that SOP. In the process of getting one of these exterior projects set up, we assess whether it needs to be washed or not. This particular project would benefit from a light washing, so a couple days prior to painting, we will come here with a company pressure washer and rinse it top to bottom, removing any dirt or flaking paint. The first thing we do on an exterior project is to get the house prepped. When we arrive, we take all of our gear out of our van and we set up a little job site. Then, if the client has some personal items around the house, we'll move them away from the house so we can access it. We'll start taking down house lights, then downspouts, and then we'll start masking off the windows, the doors, the roof lines, and any other miscellaneous items. The standard operating procedure for masking windows goes something like this. I'll go up the ladder, I'll dispense some masking and plastic over the top with our hand masker. I'll pull it down to the bottom and tack the two corners to keep it tight. This will make masking the sides easier. I'll go back up the ladder, secure the sides, come to the bottom, cut off the extra, and secure the bottom. This ensures that you will have a drip-free, micro-dot-free window at the end of your project. So after the majority of the house is masked off, we're ready to drop cloth the immediate work area. And we use two kinds of drop cloths typically. We use heavy canvas over on the landscaping and the bushes so that the wind doesn't blow it away and it catches drips. Second type of drop cloth is a rubber line drop cloth. We typically use those under our sprayer area and where we load paint in case there's any spills. After we drop cloth our immediate work area, we're ready to inspect for any loose paint, scrape that loose paint. If the wood is rough, we'll sand it lightly. We'll prime any bare substrate and then we'll apply our caulking. This standard operating procedure for prep on exterior projects is repeatable, it's trainable, it produces high quality results, and minimizes callbacks.